Uh, they do come as critical friends, but ultimately it's always with a constructive context. And ultimately, we in the authority exist to make sure that the policing for our communities is as good as possible, that we provide the best possible service. My work and relationships with the police authority will include meetings, uh, formal meetings, sometimes quite robust and challenging conversations, but also discussions in corridors. When we go out and visit parts of the constabulary together, they'll put forward ideas and suggestions and make observations. And in that sense, it truly is a partnership where we're working together in the best interests of our communities. The Police Authority has played an active role in the development and progression of the bridge, even in Somerset's first sexual assault referral centre. While it's true to say that now the centre is a true partnership endeavour, comprising partnership between the constabulary, various health trusts, CDRPs and the voluntary sector, it's also true to say that the Police Authority was the key driver in the initial stages of the project. And now the Police Authority is doing a different role checking and testing that the service offered by the bridge is the best that it possibly can be and making sure that service is communicated to all the communities of Avon and Somerset so every victim can have access to that level of service. During the term of my leadership worked extremely closely with the police authority and other partners on the strategic partnership. One of the objectives of the strategic partnership was to make our communities safer clearly but also to ensure that our communities can engage more with the police. One of the ways we wanted to do this was by increasing the number of police community support officers. Unfortunately, the government um, reduced the bid and it would have left us considerably short in Somerset. So we sat down with the police authority and looked at how we as a county council could bridge the gap with funding. And one of the great results from the PCSOs, and it is absolutely tremendous, that they've been able to achieve fantastic walking buses to schools. Children get more exercise. Parents feel very comfortable that their children are safe in walking their journey to school. And what it's also done is reduce the accidents at school gates because, of course, the parents are no longer parking there. And all done because the police authority and us work together to create the funding for the police community support officers. Oh, and by the way, the police authority also, through their charity trust, provided the little jackets that the kids walk to school in. It's not just about looking at targets set in the policing plan and bald numbers. It's about bringing to the table concerns and issues identified by members of the public or their own links in communities. And I've had some quite challenging and relevant discussions in the past couple of years about things as diverse as the amount of time it takes to contact us by telephone, uh, the support we provide to victims of sexual offences, or, or the way that members of other communities, minority communities, can get in touch with us to report racist crime or incidents. And the police authority expect me to understand the problem, to have analysed what I'm dealing with. And if there is a problem, they'll be challenging about what the response is, what are we doing about it. And they want to know when's it going to get better.